I would like to introduce you to a new calendar. The calendar we use is over 2,000 years old. It was invented by Julius Caesar, and there's all kinds of problems with it. So before I introduce you to my calendar, I want to show you everything that's wrong with the calendar that we're currently using. First off, January is a name of a Roman goddess with two heads, one looking back and forward. Uh, February, most people can't spell it. March, April, May, June, all Norse gods uh, celebrated. July is named after Julius Caesar. August is named after Augustus Caesar. September is Latin. Sept means seven, but September is our ninth month. Oct means eight, but October is our 10th month. Nove means nine, but November is our 11th month. And Dec means 10, but December is our 12th month. Some months have 28, 29, 30, 31 days. You can't figure out what day of the week a date is on without a huge algorithm. It's hard to calculate how many days are from your birthday to Christmas or anything like that. There's no way to really measure those things. And so we're dependent upon calendars physically and on our smart devices to tune in to time. And when I discovered there was an algorithm to calculate what day of the week a day it was on, and I got it in my head and I could do it, the first question that came to my mind was, why are we using a calendar that makes so little sense to our brain or our body? And so uh, years later, I'm visiting a school in Phoenix, Arizona, and a little girl asked me to count by the number 28 to do my world record. So I'll just do a quick demo. I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records for counting by a number of uh, racing a calculator. So uh, to do 28, I would do 28 plus 28 plus 28 plus 28 like that. So I'm just going to go 56. 84, 112, 140, 168, 196, 224, 252, 280, 308, 336, 364. And during the presentation, I heard myself say 364, and I was like, wow, that's almost a year. So you're saying 13 months of 28 days is 364. Why aren't we using this calendar? Every month it would have 28 days. There's 13 months. And so now when you have 28 days in every month, these amazing things happen. It's exactly four weeks. So the first would always be a Monday. The second would always be a Tuesday. The fifth is always a Friday. The 12th, 19th, and 26th are always a Friday. Every number would be the same day of the week every month. Our financial cycles, personal cycles, exercise, pregnancy cycles, nature cycles, everything could resonate with this 28-day month much easier than 28, 29, 30, 31. And so I'm driving home from school that day, and it was Cinco de Mayo 99. That's right. It was 5599. And I got home and I was thinking about this and I just asked the right question. How can I sneak in that extra day? How can I have 13 months of 28 days, but I'm missing a day, at least one for 365, another one for leap years. And it hit me just like that to count zero. And so the human calculator calendar is a 13 month calendar that is zero based, meaning there are 13 months, but they're numbered zero through 12. There's a zero month, a one month, a two month, all the way to 12. So there's 13 months. Each month has 28 days. And to sneak in the extra day, the first day of the year is the zero day. So the year actually kicks off on zero, zero. And then it goes through the 13 cycles of 28 days. This calendar makes more sense to our brain and our body. Our body is a 1328 time machine. Our bodies have 13 major joints, and we have a biorhythm, which is 28 days. So if we used a calendar that resonated and synchronized with our brains and our body, it would be easier to tune into the cycles and, uh, all around us. Um, so that's what inspired me to come up with this calendar. It's called the Human Calculator Calendar. You can download it for free on my website. And the difference is this. There's this calendar that I've invented. There's the Roman calendar. But there are also dozens of calendars around the world that try all different ways to measure time. None of them are on the same time, and you have to convert those times. No different than doing this. It's easy to convert a day off of your calendar, the Roman calendar, uh, to this calendar. And so uh, if you take the time, download the calendar on my website. It's set up for the year 2023 because that is the next time that January 1st, my zero day, falls on a Sunday so that all the one days will be on a Monday. Uh, the time after that will be 2034. So it's going to be a bit of a uh, time. So uh, all I ask people to do is 
Start now. Download this 2023 one, this 2023 calendar for 13 months and start scheduling your time. Put the things you always do. Write down your bills, the cycles of your bills, what day they're doing stuff. And you will see all these patterns erupt off these pages because it captures them in an equal way versus 28, 29, 30, 31. You can't tune into those dates and those times and those cycles. And so please download it, load up 2023, schedule your year. And in 2023, I hope all of us can choose to use both calendars that year just to show you how much easier it would be if we all chose to use a 13-month calendar that has 28 days in every month. So I thank you for your time, for even letting me share this with you. I know it's a way out there idea, but that's what I do is I learn something and I see how it can be better. And I do that with math, mental math, numbers, and patterns. And now we're going to do it with a calendar. So no pressure, no drama. I just don't want to wait till Y3K to change calendars before it kills us. So thank you for your time.